Uh oh. Don't see any signs. Mm. Any yet? No. Unfortunate. There wasn't any here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, no pay phones at the Constitution Center. I thought there would have been one since it's a federal building, but guess not. We probably did with we'll having GTL, Global Tall Link. Federal Reserve Bank. Right here's the federal courthouse, U.S. Yes, courthouse. Fortunately, it's closed today. The courthouse is green payphones. I assume there's a working one, at least somewhere around the site here. Courthouse. Also, the Independence uh, Visitor Center. Unfortunately, they don't have a payphone. I don't think they have one for 10 years, actually. Ooh, they really tinted this place up. Can't really see inside. Fortunately. Let's go check on the PTS phone inside the inside the gallery mall. Still a walk though.
something. There we go. Now we're connecting. Please wait one moment. Is there anything going on today at the convention center? <clears throat> Dude, this place has a lot of dead patients. A lot. It's like a million here. A lot of Verizon and those blue coin coinless ones. Yeah, yeah nothing. And now let's go check on the link here. What the heck is going on? Uh, pretty cool. Lowest on the couch. Uh, I see it. I guess you could try. This one, right here, has been broken since February. Let's see if they fix it. Even in July, I think it was still broken. Smash screen. I doubt if they fixed it. I'd be surprised if they did. Oh, well, they actually did. Sorry. They really don't want you to play uh, <clears throat> making long distance for the plus one. Uh, well, no one, two, one, two. What was number again? I've written down here. Yeah, I was just going to 
ข้ามาเพิ่มต่อเ
these links don't really like dialing toll-free numbers for some reason. Let's try another one. How about one, eight, six, six, five, 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 one, two, one, two. Work either. How about two one five two four three one two one two? Thank you for calling the weather service. Proudly presented to you by Clearly IT. Performing can be a messy job that requires knowledge and access to the right hardware for the situation to find the right plumber in your area. Thank you for calling MCI. Our system indicates you are calling from 267-691-2424. If this is the number you are calling about, press 1. If not, please listen. If calling to confirm your telephone number, press 1. For questions about the number we read back to you. Each have another phone. Ooh. Come on. Yeah, it's kind of broken. Summer. However, there's one from right there. Go across the street. Yeah, all the links in, um, in Philadelphia have the same phone number. 267 six nine something two four two four. And maybe it's probably gonna be the same thing with Newark, New Jersey, and maybe it's coming soon Columbus, Ohio. Not sure if it's the same in New York City since they took over payphones that already have phone numbers.
Okay. See this one. Broad Street. That's all that pennies up there. Oh, no dots on. Uh oh. That's the first time this thing happened. I think we're having problems. Nothing in town. Check one. Hopefully it's not actually out of service. Uh oh. That's not good. One more time. Give it a few seconds. Bummer. Usually, uh, it's like the probably maybe the third time it happens. It's actually still work supposed to be working. Is that uh, the phone line for it's still active, but the phone line about the payphones itself is dead. Yeah, I'll let them know about it. Usually, when I tell them about, it, they email me back saying about the whole stuff on the phone to fix it. Check out the other one. This street has a link and a uh, PTS phone. Let's see if the link works. Should be concerning because it's all a bit too close to it. Let's try to replace it. Four seconds. Uh oh, works. That's not stop now. So let's find the white screen. Looks like it just crashed. Thank you. And it's PHL. Wah wah. See, it's how it works with the keypad. There you go. Wah, wah. Don't work. Summer. Alright, see the, see the PTS don't work. Hopefully it's to work. And it's still there. Cross my fingers. Alright. It's right there. Ah, okay. Moving. Oh. Hallelujah.
Here's the pocket, one dollar. Got it. numbers I'll get out of right here. Over here, we have the last fast food place in Center City, Wendy's. All the Burger Kings and McDonald's closed in the past five years. Jeez, shut up. Oh, I'll just let this guy pass. What the? Oh, bruh. This is the last fast food joint in the center city. Wendy's. Really crowded. Uh, fortunately, I have to close the other one. One McDonald's had a new cell phone at it, which worked even after it was demolished, which I find pretty funny. <clears throat> but anyways, well, yeah, here's the Wendy's. Anyways, uh, right up ahead was a abandoned Verizon payphone that was just left behind. Uh, Market Market Street used to have a bunch of them littered around. They were uh, all converted to PTS, but then when they finishing the the renovations, they blew them out except for the one inside Jefferson Station, inside a mall. Maybe this one's going to be converted to PTS, but it never ended up happening. Busted. No longer working. Now I assume that's going to be removed. Either when a link kiosk replaces it, or or when they repaid this, uh, the, the, the sidewalk at one point. Probably gonna pull that out. So I'm not sure how long that's gonna be there. But it's still interesting that it's still lingering around.
Now let's head to the suburban station phones. They have like four in here. Uh, let's see, I think you can cut through suburban in this area. Shortcut. Can you? Uh, no. Yeah. Bummer. Okay. This is Market Street. And there's one of the links that are there. There's also another link to shop right there. Take a look at that first before we go check on it. Pay phones. And why don't they actually finally fix them all? Because previously on uh, this year and last year they were pretty like forgetting about them. They weren't fixing them, they were like leaving them broken. Except for the advertisement paddles. When the advertisement screens are busted, they fix them as soon as possible. But not the tablets up. Look at that. Works. Let's see. Or right, does it? It's gonna give me the white screen of death. Okay. English. There we go. Alright, let's see. Call. Call my paper. You know, I'm not going to waste my minutes. Yeah, it's kind of expensive. Let's try calling. Yeah, they... Yeah, huh. Yeah, they really don't want you dialing the plus. Alright, let's see. How about zero one 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 two one two. Uh, 212, what was the rest of the number? I don't remember. That's the little pamphlet right here. Oh, shoot. There we go. 212 You able to read that bunch of words? Ah, it's good. Came right out here though. Good thing I have one of these though. Hold on. I have one of these. This thing on Bob right here. Like the sucker in. Ah, there you go. And now I can hear clearly. Look at that. Okay, for the future. Uh, now I'll sit down. Okay. Let's see. Got four here. 
Uh, so, so there is on, I was like four, there's eight payphone pedestals in total. Four only have uh, actual working phones in them. Uh, let's see. Some of these are tucked in really nicely into the in the corners of this place, so you get some good privacy here. Uh, let's see, you can find the first one. Works. Data. Now. One. There's a dead one. Oh, no, you can still see those guards were a bunch more used to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven here used to be. Well, whole bank. I see the Verizon logo on the other side. It's barely. Verizon. Verizon is, re is a really huge sponsor of this station. They have Verizon Wi-Fi, Verizon Advertisement, and at one point Verizon Payphones. I'll give Kong oats to try.
got no idea where I'm going. Oh yeah, so restroom. No, the other side. Let's thank up, Billy. Verizon. 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 Verizon, Verizon, Verizon. Verizon. Lots and lots of Verizon. This one works. This one works, guys. A lot of dollar time. Yeah, I don't do something like this. I don't go call the 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 dump phone PTS. No, the PTS dump phone inside the Caesar's Casino. Maybe someone will answer. That'd be cool. Alright. One, quick, zero, nine, three, four, eight, nine, six, two, zero. One done. Oh, this is two or one minute. I don't remember. Let's see if that answers. It's ringing. It's dialing. It's ringing. Hopefully, someone answers. Okay. Usually, people pick up when I call it. We have a loud bell ringer. Uh, I'm not doing anything. No. No, didn't get anything. Nala. I took my money. Ah. Oh, well, I have like a whole bag of quarters with me though. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and calling cards too. Five, six, seven, four, eight. I'm going to go. You're welcome. Eight, eight, almost.
So, so far, we even, I've encountered today uh, six working payphones. Um, yeah, six working payphones. And, I don't know, how, much, how many working links? I think about three links. Uh, I'm not really count, counting in my mind. So, I, my best guess would be like four links I've used so far. Uh, yeah, guess four. So, six, ten public phones I've used. Quite decent. Uh, let's see. Our next destiny. I think we completed all the pay phones in Center City. Except for the yeah, yeah, I think that's all. I'll reduce all of them. Yeah, not much, unfortunately. Unfortunately, since the one at Thirty Street Station has been removed, and I think the one nearby it too was, which is unfortunate because it was the only that was frequently used, and also the. TTY is the only place on in San Jose that has a TTY. Actually, I think it's the only one actually has a TTY in the entire city. The one I just saw in, in, over here in Suburban Station, uh, it does have one, but it doesn't have a phone connected to it, unfortunately. So I can't play around with that. I think the nearest one would be in in uh, the Interstate 95 rest stop. All right, let's head up. Maybe we can find more link here, up here. We'll make it. Here's something interesting. A little map right here. I don't know when this was, um, this map was installed, but it's been here for decades. But it shows you all the payphones in the area. So it says Boathouse, Fairmount, Waterworks. I don't know. It says the Mu Philadelphia Museum of Art, uh, Eastern State Penitentiary, which I think does have one, but I haven't visited myself. <clears throat> the Roden Museum, Barnes Foundation, T Library of Philadelphia, Franklin Institute, um, Academy of Natural Sciences, Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts, City Hall, and Dilworth Park. So it says that all those places have a public phone, but the only places that actually found that actually have them is the it's a it's a library, and those haven't worked since earlier this year. They were um, they stopped working, I think like January. I called about them. Uh, I called uh, GTL, which uh, owns the phones. In April, they, they uh, told me that they'll set a technician out to fix it. Uh, when I visited it in, I think in August, yeah, August, they were still not working, so. Let's see if they actually fixed it this time. Like, how, you know, maybe, should have like a little ounce of hope that they fix it since, seeing that Link actually fixed their kiosk 
after months and maybe even years. No, not years, but like a year of being broken. And we're heading to the library right now to check on them. Not because I've got to go rest a little bit. Dude, my feet are sore. Kind of big. It's kind of, uh, not far of a walk, but it's a little walk to get there. Alright. Alright. Getting close to it. Free Library, Philadelphia. Central Library. Right next to this one that kind of looks identical. Draws. Nice looking architecture and everything. I forgot what this building was. Don't really remember. I think it does have a police station in it though. Right down there. I'm not sure if I usually see police cars. Down that little ramp. Big old building. Ooh. A lot of branches that suck. Uh, family Court of Philadelphia. So it's a court hall. Maybe it has a GTL phone inside also. Let's see. Oh, it's closed. Ah, bummer. Wallop. Guess you can't go inside then. Well, that, well, that was a waste. Oh, my feet are aching. And then you get to see the payphones. Or the cool typewriter on Diagonal 5. Is this Vine Street? Uh, no, it's, yeah, it is. It's Vine Street. So down there, there's one more payphone that actually works. Gosh, I forgot how far this, that the next phone is. Like uh, right down there by the park sign, there's a new tow that I used quite a few times before it stopped working in September. I'm not gonna go all the way down there to look take a look at it. I already got a pretty long hike to do. Ah, look at that PC. So anyways probably broke it. I can't really see. But it's there. Ooh. So it's kind of unfortunate the library is closed. Could get to see the phones. And yeah, even though it's probably not going to work regardless. I remember someone told me online, like quite long ago, is that global telling phones, GTL pay phones, are actually funded by uh, collect calls uh, inmates do in the in the city prisons. And if that is true, uh, they should probably have way, like, plenty of money to keep those phones running. I don't really need to uh, see a reason why you have to plug them when they're making, like, millions of dollars off of prison collect calls. And, uh, 
and such. Alright, so I'll just wrap it again. So we're getting close to the shell. It's right there, so it's gonna be at the next block. Yeah, I also heard, um. I also heard that, um, GTL. Has, uh. They signed, they have a contract with, uh, the city of Philadelphia to provide payphones in, uh, public facilities, such as the uh, library there. And also, uh, and also community centers, town, uh, town offices, police stations, and, uh, yada, yada, yada. So either GTL decides to quietly disconnect the phones behind the, uh, the city's back, or the, uh, the contract expired and no longer have to do it. I think the only, uh, GTL payphone that hasn't been disconnected yet is at the one in Fox Chase Library. And even that one doesn't work. It's just that the phone hall hasn't been disconnected. Just haven't fixed it. Or I haven't touched it in like big three years since I had like a coin jam for like about two years. Never done anything about it even though I call them countless times about it. And then me not acknowledging it. So. Should be on this street, I'm pretty sure. The one of the. There's actually two payphones here. One's a Dead Verizon one, and now there's a working one. Let's take a look at the Verizon one first. Right there. It's been painted over several times. And here's the covered up trolley tracks. Here it is Verizon. This, this would be a pretty good location for it. A road payphone if the Verizon rig hasn't been left behind in it. Covered in stickers painted over several times. Iffy book. Verizon. It's actually not that in bad shape. Fortunately, just left it rot. Nothing I can't really be done with it. Actually, a lot of the the public, well, not public, but the private parking spaces that you had to pay to go park in had payphones. Most of them were Verizon, but we also had a few back then called um, NET payphones that served a lot of them, which some of the and NET payphones ended up becoming uh, Newtel. Newtel bought a few of the locations back in like. 2011, 2012. Alright, here it is. Inside this building. Alright, let's see. It's a little secluded. Feels like a secret payphone getting into. Top secret payphone. Alright. It's not open. Go not. There you go. Thanks. Yeah, this payphone's hidden from the public. I think it's on the second floor. Yeah, it's on the second floor. Let's see if that one's working today. Should be. A nice climate controlled in here. Yeah, this building is pretty eh, in mac condition, but look at the elevator. Come on. Hang it open. I think someone's going to be coming out. Come on. Oh, hold on. Someone's coming in. Let's come in there. Second floor. Yeah, it's not, this elevator is nice. Except for the thing floors, but everything else is nice about it. Uh, let's see. I think 
think I should wash my hands first. Electronics yard sale. Pay a few bucks or take it for free. Yeah. I don't know why you want to use my here if it's take it for free, but I always scan that to pay. Well, here it is. Filter phone. That's not good. <laughs> Let's try one more time. Yeah. Add a look. You let this thing take my money. No donation. Oh, that's a bummer. No dial tone doesn't work. Dude, my legs are killing me. Oh, I'd like to get to the chair right here. Alright. Back at the gallery mall or or Roadway Market. Yeah, there are these uh Two uh, empty pedestals under here. It would be a nice location for a uh, rogue phone, but unfortunately, there's not enough sunlight down here to run the solar panels. I think one of them was by Quarter Call Communications, and the other was by, um, what's it called again? Uh, Camco Pay Telephone. So here's number one. These all are actually in pretty good condition. That's one. Right. Now let's check on number two, which is right here. It's actually so hot. The phone in it. Yeah, that was the one that was by Camco. Yeah, like I said, by the information placards. The other one was uh, quarter call, I remember. They were uh, quite long ago, though. Well, it doesn't really matter because here's Jefferson Station, where there's a working payphone inside. So I'm back at Jefferson Station at the Gowie Mall. And I actually got to make another phone call. So I got to be right back. Here's the former Greyhound 
Depot. They closed this summer. And oh, holy heck, look at all that bird crap. Dear Mother of Pearl. One unfortunate thing this uh about them closing is that they had two PTS phones inside. So now they're inaccessible. And they moved to um they moved to uh, from a depot to a um to just a curb on the street. I think on market, not by right by Dunkin' Donuts. So just kicked them out on the curb. Small waiting room, no phones, no restrooms. No unnecessities or any conveniences at all. Bit of a bummer. So that's Greyhound. <clears throat> now I'm heading back to the the link the link kiosk over here. Yeah, I want to try something. I want to experiment something with it off camera. <clears throat> and then. I was originally going to be planning to go down Frost Street via the, uh, via the subway, but unfortunately it's getting late. I'm not going to be able to because down there on down Bond Street, they have two PTS phones that work inside a uh, uh, Jefferson Messages Hospital. And supposedly there's also a laundromat down the street too that has a working pay phone, but I haven't tested it out yet. But unfortunately I'm not going to be making it today. Maybe another day though. Alright, now it's time to head home and make one more stop at the at the Jefferson Station phone again. One more stop. Yeah, I may actually go report that still cell phone not working. It's a toll free number, so it's not going to cost me anything. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Here we go.
Don't <laughs> forget the phone number for those two bucks. <clears throat> what I found cool is that they can actually call an uh, Uber via payphones, which you're not supposed to do because, um, according to the requirements, your device has you can call, but you have to um, your device has to be able to receive messages, which obviously you can't do from this, but we'll still let you call it. Right, let's see, I could try. Eight, three, three. Use Uber. The one eight three three use Uber. Gave it fifty cents. Generous. Yeah. It just missed my train. Oh well. on the other side. Fucky them. Very nice station. Yeah, emergency phone right there. And more Verizon advertisements. One, two. Verizon provides everything. They provide the Wi Fi, think, yeah, provide the internet, and the phone line for the phone. Up here. Doors are opening. Bradford train making all stops. Doors are closing. This station, uh, this is one of the stations uh, that Liberty telecom uh, operates in. Unfortunately, it's, he said back, I talked to the person who maintains the phone back in, I think May, yeah, May. He said that he, uh, it's a profitable phone, but, prof very profitable, but it's been a uh, subject, it's been a uh, target to ban, but so it was in same vandal keeps cutting off the handset by the by the receiver, not the actual cord, so it's not a scrapper. He says that yeah. he believes that it's uh, some nearby business or neighbor that's cutting off. He doesn't want people using it. And there it is. And recently it got disconnected.
So I'm not sure about the feature of this one. I'll go talk to the guy that maintains this one, and also the one in Allegheny, which we'll be walking to. Yeah, let's see. Doesn't work. It should be very profitable. Every time they hear, or so it's it's not one but two people using it. Not including me. But fortunately, he said that he has uh, had to replace the handset like quite a few times. And um, those things cost like uh, they cost like twenty dollars to replace. So every time when someone uh, cuts the uh, handset off, uh, he loses twenty dollars out of his pocket. And he said that it happens like immediately. As soon as he replaces it, someone cuts it off by the next day. So that's unfortunate. That yeah. And also the guy has to um also. Yeah, the guy's from New Jersey, so he has to come across the, uh, the bridge and pay a toll in order to come over and fix the phone, which adds on to the cost, unfortunately. Yeah, I gotta walk through Kensington, the worst part of Philadelphia. Yeah, uh, Liberty Telecom. Yeah, before the pandemic, they're actually quite, they're actually pre doing pretty good. They had like about maybe over 30 phones in 2019 that were operational, that were scattered throughout the city, not just Kensington. But now today, it's only just down to the, the last two in Somerset that we just looked at and Alle Allegheny, which we're going to right now. Yeah, a lot of these, uh, a lot of the phones here used to be, um, by Newtel, Quarter Call, uh, and Liberty Telecom. I think in 2017, 20, uh, early, like, May 2016, Liberty Telecom acquired the, the phones that were on the stretch from Quarter Call, and then he maintained them until, I guess, like, until May. And there's a sports kingdom right there. That's where our new tough on you is currently. Used to be right in front of the store, but then like I think in 20 late 2021, maybe early 2022. Yeah, I think yeah I think it was in 2021. They uh they relocated back to uh, the phone back to the corner of the rear of the store. Uh, so probably because the city was doing work in the front. So they moved it back. Now I assume this that was one of the um you tell it's actual profitable phones that are they're making money off from coin instead of uh their little infinite money glitch. Oh yeah, and also right here. This is where a quarter call phone used to be. Right there. They just removed that one this year, earlier this year. The guy that maintains, uh, that owns Quarter Call is cleaning up his phones late 2022 or earlier this Thank year. You. I mean, good on them, but unfortunately that's bad news for me that I'm trying to stick my phones in. And there it is. I mean, it's kind of hard to see with the camera quality, but it's there. It's smashed up and everything. Only lasted about like a year or two before it got disconnected. Here's another pedestal, a wall mount. Possibly a good location. Now let's keep on walking down here. Hopefully they don't get bitten, stabbed, or poked with 
hang their little pokey needles. For her, that's what happens. And I don't want to get addicted to heroin just from that. But a lot of these people see, are nice. I talk to a lot of people. They're really nice people, most of them. Some of them are just nasty, though. They'll scream at you. They'll threaten you and whatnot. But most of them have had a good experience with them. Jeez, my feet are starting to really hurt. Oh, Here's a quick, yeah, a quick 24 hours stop. That's a pretty big store in the Kensington area. And over here is McPherson Square. It has a library in the middle. Where I think every day uh, they'll give um, they give free food to anyone that's under 18, like sandwiches and milk and stuff like that. There's also a campground. ground. The 24 hour stop. I don't ever remember ha that one having a pace on outside though. Hey, they have one inside. It's pretty big. Yeah, take a quick look. Yeah, so we put a pedestrian signal over here to have to look at that. You have an ATM. Yeah, but I don't see any phones. Uh, maybe take a quick look. Maybe I have a calling card. No, I don't see any calling cards. Yeah, usually I like fuck these places. At least have a boss revolution card. Yeah, candy. Yeah, no calling cards. Yeah, I need one. Because uh, I have two call I have Boss Revolution and um Boss Revolution. Uh what's all up? Oh yeah, Penny Talk. Also Penny Talk which is actually uh, more expensive. They claim to have a uh, ninety cent payphone surcharge uh compared to boost uh um uh, Compared to what's the name of uh, Boss Revolution that charges a dollar, and Verizon that charges a dollar thirty. What I mean, so like Penny Talk sounds like a good deal until you realize they charge you fifty cents per connection, which uh, is anymore. So probably better to get uh, Boss Revolution or Verizon, which I'm surprised you can actually still get Verizon phone cards. To this day, I actually have a few that are unactivated. Here we are, Allegheny. This was a... This was a, um, paper and pot spot just a few years ago. These used to have not one or two, but four, uh, working payphones on this 
on this uh, little intersection right here. Not just that one. It's over there. Ah, uh, it doesn't work, unfortunately. It got disconnected. Supposedly had a bad board. And they haven't fixed it since. So, like, each one of these quarters had a working phone. And many more years ago, they had about, I think they had one, two, three, four, five, six. They had like six working phones on the same intersection. You can make really good money for payphones just in this area. Alright. Ooh. I heard um oh crap, a lot of noise. I heard Silta will be um uh, installing the paper on Kensington at some point. And I would also assume there's gonna be a link to each other installed here at one point. Uh, let's check on this one real quick. Yeah, it's not working. Spiritual event. Come on. Yeah, my wallet. Yeah, she buzz. There you go. Ah, crap, I answered the wrong side. Hey, Joe, can you wait for us? No! Why? Is there a crossover? I hope there is. Either way, I'm missing the tram. Ah, I'm still sick. Gotta catch the next one. Wait for the next one. Ooh, 
Ooh, a lot of garbage. Hallelujah. Hmm. That's not funny. Down that street there are uh, two more new tells. Used to be three. Uh, down there, I haven't worked since uh, September 2022. And down there, there's a, all the way at the end of the street, there actually is a working payphone. It's at uh, Burns Tavern, operated by another uh, payphone service provider in Philly, Philadelphia region, called Tri-County Amusements with not just ATMs, but they actually still have a few payphones around that they take really good care of. But the uh, only problem is that they don't allow long distance calling, so I guess you use a uh, a phone card to use them when making uh long distance calls to like New Jersey or Delaware. Same with uh, Liberty Telecom if they ever come back. They don't allow long distance except for long distance 401, which I find funny. Uh, Frankfurt Transportation Center. Pretty nice place. But this station has currently has uh, three PTS phones. Obviously, don't work though, unfortunately. I think they they have them. Uh, they have like I think I think they have like um. Uh, five or six up until maybe 2015 and then they reduced them just down to three they had them outside also so I can just go check on the dead phone later I'm gonna need a shower after this. Alright. Inside here. Hopefully it's open. Probably not. Wait. We got ATM. Still a convenience store. Let's see if there's still there. Yep. They're busted. Yuch. wonder what those blue buttons are for. But unfortunately, those three are dead. I don't think they're ever coming back. I already called, sent email to the repair line, but a few months ago, but not, nothing ever happened. Now I can check on two more that also don't work.
tasty donuts. I don't remember if it was outside the fence or inside over there. Oh, come on. Uh, the bus just missed that guy's freak out. Thanks, Law Bus. But, anyways, I don't remember if it was outside. I think it was outside the station. They can still find a car for it. There was one out here. A PTS zone. Yep, right there. Well, half of the scar. They they repaved the other side. Or that was well, there was one PTS zone there. Uh, let's say they got rid of the other one. Right where that little trash can post is. Dude, used to be a uh, a new telephone that was removed. Uh, I think uh, 2021. And looks like they finally got rid of it. Got like the pedal store. Uh, they removed, New Tower removed the phone, but they left the pedal still behind. That was, it was rotting. Maybe it collapsed or they got rid of it. So, let's see. Yeah, it was right there. Can't really see it though. It's getting dark. And right here, that big building was a uh, Thriftway uh, supermarket that closed down many, many years ago. Now let's go check out AAA laundromat. Got a little surprise in there. Right, there's the Dunkin' Donuts warehouse. This is where they bake all the fresh donuts and then ship them out to the the stores every day. Here's the laundromat. Hopefully there's a lot of photography inside. But I gotta try to feel this camera. Let's see, no loitering, no public restrooms. Shirts and shoes must have a horn. Sorry, no refunds. Crook and thief and loser. Yep. Nothing. Game co rig. Oh, how hungry. Let's see how much is charging for a can of Pepsi. One oh five. Dollar fifty. No way. I ain't paying that. No dollar fifty fifty for a Kit Kat. Hmm. Sounds good. Oh, got my tip. What is that? A laundromat? What the? Um, it's a I think it's a Tito three style housing. It's uh, the regular uh, GTE ones. Like you can tell that they're a little fat. The upper housing and the coin return uh, lever thingy is a bit more to the right and the big bigger too and usually those um, are used for IntelliCall phones so Camco um, they use mainly most of these uh, IntelliCall phones uh, Camco um, they existed for quite some time in Philadelphia they're also one of the more larger service providers in the city and uh, surrounding suburbs. On the F under FCC um, documents, they say uh, they that they went out of business in 2014. But actually, um, I don't remember if it was 2014 or 2013. But they actually kept on maintaining payphones for way longer than that up until I think 2017. That's when it uh, stopped. They gave it up. But I also think, um, I also seen some of the phones, um, get handed over to Newtel, so that's something. So they have, these have, uh, those two do have some ties together. 
but either way, they keep uh, operating their phones separately from each other. Actually, the, um, I actually do have the the contact information for the guy that used to maintain the phone pay phones. Uh, the guy responsible for Camp Go Pay Telephone. But fortunately, whenever when I try to call him, he never answers. Never picks up. Always goes to voicemail, and his voicemail is even deactivated, so no way of getting in touch with him. Now, now, now I gotta go head back home, stop at the Chamonix Mall, and see the former pavement remains they have there, and that's it. Ah, great. Uh, I forgot to mention that um, Camco, no, not Camco, uh, Quirkle and Liberty uh, Telecom also have a few phones around here too. Or that uh, they have they have one uh, near that or next to it, the one place stop shop over there with the flash of lights, which used to be McDonald's, and there's also one by the church, uh, chicken whatnot place joint over there. And a snipe. But the last, yeah, quite a few. But the last ones were removed around 2018. Arrived at the Shamini Mall. Uh, this mall is dying pretty badly. Ever since the pandemic, this used to be Macy's, which was before that uh, Strawbridge and Clothers. And here's the Shamini Mall, which used to house uh, two PTS payphones up until early 2022. Because I remember uh, back in 2021, uh, I was here every day because this is where the DMV was. And I was practicing to get my driver's license. And so every day before I go home, I would head over there, use the payphone that used to be right there next to that brown door. Used to have a, a Bell Atlantic enclosure until I think like 2017, they replaced it with a generic one. Um, and then in September 2021, they got disconnected. And then I think January 2022, it was removed. Ooh. Yeah, thing was powered in. Did light up. Let me see if it's open. Stop in real quick. Ah, it is. And here's to be the other one I used to use a lot. Now gone. That's where the landline came in. Unfortunate. Yeah, well, it's like just dying. Empty stores, a lot of empty stores. Not much left. But you know, I'll hope it's not lost. If you don't, if you don't have a cell phone, I was able to make uh, phone calls off of the off of the T-Mobile display phone <laughs> it's possible here's the uh, former Macy's I remember what they, when they closed, I think they closed like 2018 maybe earlier I think, yeah, it's like, I think like 2017, 16 closed earlier 
You also have this fountain over here with the Indian. It no longer works. They place the water with blue foam. And this over here. Big blank space. This is border up. I have no idea what used to be there. But my best guess is that there would have been phone booths there. Or at least panel phones or somewhat. Since this is actually a pretty old mall. I think it's been here since the 60s or 70s. Oh, time to head home. Here's the remains of it. One last good look of it. I'm sure taking a picture of it when it's still there. I think they have to replace the pedestal actually three times uh two times because um it would rust pretty badly. I, I remember they do over salt it in a second place, and that absolutely rots the pedestal. So, yeah, they already replaced it two times. The last time was like 2017, or right during that time. And then uh, in 2021, it was rusted out again. Like, I could literally move it, shake it around a bit. Oh, the conduit that was up there was the only thing I was holding it. So I called PTS about it, and unfortunately, I probably shouldn't have done that because they disconnected it a few days later, and then later on removed it. It was a well, kind of was a profitable phone before the pandemic. People would be using it all the time. Noticed it mostly um, older people, foraging people, and then during the pandemic, they were wiped out the customer base of those phones. Maybe that's why they don't bother putting it back in. Putting a new pedestal. Yeah, um, the, the COVID really hit the payphone industry really hard. But not much the you but what did more damage was actually the um the affordable connectivity program. As many payphones were, uh, payphone providers were already recovering from the Lifeline phone, uh, well, I don't know, the Lifeline program that gave everyone uh, free phones. That was, uh, there wasn't, uh, like the, wait, what's the word again? The poorer people, uh, free phones. And then the ACP bumped it up to, in, uh, steroids. Like I've talked with other service providers and they say that the the revenue has dropped significantly since the ACP started. You have the little colorful circus tents and everything that heading uh the the little phones, the candy. Even they do um that right next to the their own pay phones. They'll uh, set their little circus tent up, hand out their free uh, mobiles. Uh, siphon out their main coin revenue from the pay phones. Unfortunately. Uh, that's it.